guys, it's Candice the Grandest, and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is all about fun things to do in Fort Lauderdale. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And be sure to check out part one and part two of fun things to do in Miami. One of the best places to come to while you're in Fort Lauderdale is Las Olas Boulevard. It's lined with a bunch of nightclubs, bars, bridal stores, and shop boutiques, art galleries, and restaurants. And today, we're heading to one of my favorite Italian spots, Louis Bossi's. This high energy Italian eatery is one of my favorite go-tos. Everything on the menu is made from scratch and only using the freshest ingredients. Whether you choose indoor seating or outdoor, it's always great vibes. Chef Louis Bossi serves delicious house-made pastas, wood-burning Neapolitan pizzas, home-cooked Sicilian comfort food, and of course, my favorite, gelato and crema di limoncello. I suggest making reservations in advance to avoid long wait times. And their menu has a lot of delicious options to choose from for brunch, lunch, and dinner. I love that it's kid-friendly, a great place to bring your family, business associates, a perfect date night option, a girls' night out, or a birthday celebration with friends. And on this particular occasion, there were multiple tables celebrating birthdays. And I just love the closeness and camaraderie. And everyone was cheering for each other. People were waving their napkins in the air. There were random outbursts of singing, joyous laughter, and it was definitely quite an experience. This is actually my second visit, but first daytime experience. I was here back in 2019, celebrating my birthday with my girlfriends. The nighttime experience is such a beautiful, enchanting, and ambient vibe. Definitely more cozy and relaxing. The lychee martinis are absolutely amazing. I decided to go with a nice salmon dish while my friends chose pizza and other pasta options. Today, I decided to go for the peach martini and ravioli while my friend and mentor chose one of the brunch options. Eggs on artisan toast, ricotta, and smoked salmon with capers. Cheers to successful projects and bon appetit. It looks great and smells amazing, but let's see how it tastes. Here I have ricotta, greens, fresh pomodoro sauce, and decided to skip out on the prosciutto. I absolutely enjoyed mine and glad that I went with this option. It was very yummy and flavorful. On my next visit, I can't wait to try the chicken parmesan or one of the margarita pizzas.
It was a Sunday afternoon well spent catching up over some great food. Next, I decided to take in all the sights and scents and did a spontaneous stop inside of one of the art galleries right on Las Olas Boulevard. As an artist myself, I definitely appreciated this. The artist is named Jamali. He is an American avant-garde artist. His artistic style has been termed mystical expressionism. He is known for his unique organic textures, experimental techniques, and figurative paintings of women. I've learned that he traveled throughout Europe and in Paris met a number of American students studying abroad and decided to apply for the University of Central Florida to study fine art. What I love most is his ability to add different types of textures and mediums, pastels and paints, and vibrant colors. He also adds different objects to give it a more 3D dimensional effect. Now we're on the way to meet up with another friend, and she is a super smart and talented marketing strategist. I received a lot of motivational feedback, and I look forward to working with both of them in the future. Guys, as always, thank you so very much for all of the love and support. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave comments and suggestions on other places that you want me to check out. I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.